Hello, everyone. This is Brendan Murphy. This is Topic 5 in Etmook. Um, digital footprint, digital citizenship, and social activism, and digital identity. And I love how all of those kind of fit together. And I would like to kind of talk about the digital footprint or our past and how it relates kind of to our future. So the past and the future in this little reflection. Please stick around. Uh, first of all, we we have a footprint. And I, I did this great, it wasn't very great, but I did this presentation for my teachers a month ago. And uh, we talked about the digital footprint that we leave and, and how that builds up and how uh, all this information is gathered about us. And it leads to an identity that we have in the online world and, and how it's very imperative that we have to measure it. Uh, we have to take control of this identity and, and, and make it positive rather than neg negative. Kind of build our own e-portfolios, uh, not only for ourselves, but start teaching our students how to build this positive digital portfolio because it's so imperative that we put our best foot forward. I think there will be changes in the future on how people see each other online, uh, how this long tail of our past, this this everything we've ever done is is practically is is there to be searched and looked at, and people may start taking into account time frames on this and say, what I did as a, as a child does not define who I am as an adult. But we can't always depend on this. So we have to make sure to, to build our own identity and make sure that it is positive. You know, that's not always po possible. I know even in myself, and, and I was kind of born before the, the digital age. Um, I'm 44 now. But, um, you know, when I was 17 and, and graduated from high school, I got in trouble with the law. And as a teacher, as an education person, every time I apply for a job, that comes up because that's something that, that schools are rightly afraid of. Yeah, hey, unless I can convince a governor or a president sometime to pardon me, that's going to be part of my digital identity for the rest of my life. Um, so I have to manage that, and that's a big negative, and, and I'm sure that it's um, gotten some hiring managers to, to look at my resume and, and turn around and, and go to the next one without ever even calling me. Uh, it's something I have to, to live with. Um, so having this sort of thing be the norm rather than the exception, we may start learning to take everything that we hear and we learn about each other uh, with a, a kind of a grain of salt uh, and to get to know the person, uh, who the person is right now as opposed to who the person was 20 years ago. But until that day comes around, manage our digital identity. Now on to the future. My plans for the future for for Edmuk uh, are, uh, I think, pretty cool idea. Uh, just last week, our one-to-one -one proposal in my district was approved. So now that means that the professional development plan that I had envisioned has also been approved. And my professional development plan was really a drag and drop of of at MOOC, right into our structure, uh, right into our school. So we will ask all of our high school teachers to, to be participants in, in a year-long open online experience, we're calling it, or the ooh, uh, where our, student, our teachers will be students in learning how to use and integrate their one-to-one -one technology within the classroom. And I hope that Everyone out there who has been a part of that MOOC will come back and, and help us through this. Uh, we'll be part of the collaboration, the mentors, the co-learners with our teachers next year. Uh, not just to teach our teachers, but I hope that uh, we continue a, a whole new iteration of, of at MOOC um, 
For us, it will be a 10-month program, uh, and uh, maybe Ed Mook will, will follow along with that, or maybe they'll do something a little bit different. But uh, there will certainly be collaboration in the future. So please, come and join us, our little high school, so that we realize that we're not alone and give us the power to tap into the collective wisdom of the connected educators from around the world. Thank you.